Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm really happy to be here for week two of Five on Friday. Um, I hope you guys had a really good week. I certainly did, and i um, just glad it's Friday. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is, though. What's that song? Everybody's working for the weekend. Okay, sorry. I'm, I can't promise this is going to get better, but I'm going to make my best effort. Uh, anyway, to the question is, what is your favorite food? And it was really tough for me to narrow it down because I love to eat. It's number two on my favorite pastimes, right below sleeping. So uh, anyway, number one, bread. Love bread. If I could live on it, I would, but that wouldn't be a healthy decision. So, you know, can't do that. Then there's ice cream. Love ice cream. My favorite is Oreos with hot fudge bunch of Oreos. When I go order it like at a DQ, I say, can I get the Oreo Blizzard with extra Oreo and hot fudge on top, but don't mix it in. It can't be mixed in because then it melts it. You just gotta, it's like an Oreo sundae. It's delicious. You should try it. I recommend it. Um, although if you eat everything on this list, you probably will be like blowing up because they're not healthy. I mean, not healthy at all. Like my favorite foods, yeah, they, a dietitian would not recommend. Um, Okay, so number three, miso soup. Love it. Anytime I go to any Japanese restaurant, I have to order that. And four is pad thai. Um, if you live anywhere in the Indianapolis area, you need to go to this place called Thai Papaya. And they're this couple who are from Thailand, and they make all their food themselves. Um, it's just a mom and pop shop, and it is the best Thai food you will ever have. I've lived in California, Nashville, I've been to New York, I've done, you know, everywhere I've gone and I've tried their Thai food and it does not match up to this place. Um, so definitely check it out. And last but not least, Cheez-Its. I, I used to hate Cheez-Its um, up until about December of last year and now they're all I eat. I mean, well it seems like that, but I love them. And uh, it's, it's just a bad addiction. I should stay away from the Cheez-Its because they're no good for you and when you read the label you're kind of like, oh, should I really be eating that? But they're good and um, I don't travel without them. So there you go, there's my list and I'm, I'm sure this was very entertaining for you. But I really appreciate you guys coming to check it out and I hope you guys have a really great weekend and thank you so much for all of your support and I will talk to you guys soon and see you next Friday for Five on a Friday. Bye.